Welcome back to another episode of the Chief Lego Fanatic. Uh, just finished this build, so today we're going to be doing an in-depth review and look at the ho or boutique hotel set. All right, so the boutique hotel, it is set number 10297. It is 3,066 pieces. It is rated for 18 plus. Uh, it is the newest model in Lego's um, modular city uh, series. Uh, it's actually the 15th anniversary of the series. Um, so this was a special edition. It's apparently a set that uh, people have been asking for for quite some time. Um, and then Lego finally decided to do it for this anniversary. Uh, so. Uh, let's take a deep dive in. We'll start with the minifigs and then look at the set itself. All right, so here are the first two minifigs. You have uh, the blonde hair is the um, receptionist. And uh, each, each of the minifigs has their own little briefing in the instruction booklet, so it's pretty neat. Uh, so this one, it says, looking for things to do during your stay? Just ask the receptionist about her favorite shop within the Grand Emporium set. Unfortunately, one that I don't have. Or the best meal at Chez Albert, which is one of the ones I do. Um, and then for the bellhop, which is the black-haired male along with his uh, luggage cart, it says the bellhop will happily help carry your luggage up the hotel stairs to your room. Don't forget to give him a tip. Uh, and this set definitely does not have an elevator, so he would probably come in handy, especially if you have a lot of luggage or you're staying on the third floor. Now this one is kind of odd in that Lego doesn't actually give her any type of backstory uh, as it does with all of the other minifigs in the state set. Uh, for this one, this is the backpacker. Uh, she enjoys traveling the world and is doing it on a budget, so she's staying in the hotel's economy room. So she's got a little backpack piece along with a little camera. And then this one is just known as the accountant. Uh, it's in town to assist with the sale of the art gallery's masterpieces, which is a part of the set. Uh, he's also been asked to audit the accounts for the Brick Bank set. Again, not one of the ones that I have, unfortunately. I got started in uh, this series a little bit late. All right, and then the last two minifigs, we have our little Globetrotter. Comes with a little suitcase and an umbrella. Says she uh, has been all over the world, but loves to come back to the boutique hotel for a stay. And the last one is, uh, the information given is less about the minifig itself, which is a coffee cart worker, and more about the coffee cart itself. Um, it is the mobile extension of the cafe corner set, the very first modular building. Its awning and yellow coffee cups match the ones from the original building. So I kind of want to go back and see if I can uh, get the original modular sets, although I think I'm paying way more money than retail for it. But this is a neat little thing. Uh, you can see the coffee mo or coffee pots. Uh, it's very well designed and looks just like a stand. All right, now we're going to get into the set itself. All right, so now we have the hotel itself. Uh, it is three levels, and then you have the roof itself. Uh, the hotel itself takes up a little less than half of this base plate. Um, the other part is you know, there's a little fine art gallery and a cafe that sits on top of it, or the roof of the art gallery is used as a little cafe. Um, there is some decorations on the side. You can see um, different flowers. Uh, you have the flags, but I don't knock it off. This room here has a little balcony. Um, odd thing is <laughs> they actually use... Uh, it says skeleton legs, but I always thought they were handcuffs. Uh, there is the wrought iron for the uh, balcony. The, the side is kind of plain. This is a corner lot, uh, so it would be kind of the, the turning point of the, the block. And then this back side uh, does have a trash can, and inside this trash can there's a little cor uh, croissant. <laughs> it's kind of odd. I don't remember exactly what the instructions call out on it, but it does actually specifically mention uh, the croissant going into the trash can. 
All right, let's start at the top, work our way down. All right, so here we have the roof. It has a little copula over the rounded section. It has a skylight so that the people who stay in the top floor can look up. Uh, it does actually hinge open, although I'm not sure why you would open it that way. Uh, one of the things it calls out is these wrought iron pieces here. Or actually originally used in Ninjago sets as snake heads. Uh, so it really shows how Lego tends to reuse pieces uh, that were specifically designed for one thing and kind of uh, use incorporates them into other uh, sets as other uh, features. All right, we have the third floor room here. So this was a room unto itself. Uh, so it's kind of like the, the third floor suite. Uh, so it has you know, a large double uh, king queen bed. Um, this also, here's a little present or a mint on the bed itself. Some features, uh, you can see the TV uh, actually has a little TV screen on it. Um, there's this cabinet or a wardrobe for storing furniture or sorry, clothes. Oh no, why would I put furniture in a wardrobe? Uh, there's a, a chair, a drink bottle. They have this lovely little bathtub uh, with some soaps, um, with a window, a uh, toilet here in the corner with a uh, sink. Turn this so you can actually see it. So a toilet with a sink. And then this is the, the entryway. So the, the door here opens. Uh, and then this hole here is where they would come up the stairs into that area. Now for the second floor. So the second floor uh, has also has two rooms, uh, but there's no bathroom. It's kind of odd. Uh, so you have this room, which is much smaller, uh, with a bed, uh, a little desk here, um, some drawers for storing clothes, um, another one with a small bed. Uh, there's a little chair here in the corner, so they can look out the uh, bay window here. Uh, they have a little desk with a typewriter, another little wardrobe. And you can see where the stairs come up from the second floor to the third floor, and then where each of them would enter their rooms. The neat thing I like about these sets is Lego is very cognizant of um, playability. So you can see how these these couple of pegs here are what hold on, hold the um, the second floor or the third floor in this case, on top of it. Uh, so it makes it really easy to take it off without destroying the entire set. Although sometimes it doesn't go on quite the way you want it to. That's all right. Yeah, so that's the second floor. Well, that's most of the second floor. We gotta do the last part of the second floor. So you have this part here that comes off. Uh, it's just a little cafe area. Uh, there's a little bar. Uh, this really neat tree, um, a couple of tables, not a whole lot to it. It does have the sign for the gallery, if you can read it there. Doesn't make a whole lot. It's interesting how they use all these different colors of bricks on the bottoms of sections uh, when they really don't need to, but makes it a little bit more colorful, I guess. And then for the bottom floor, so for the outside, you see how they have all these flowers here on the bottom. Um, there's a neat little street lamp. Uh, they even made, whew, make sure I don't get it out of frame, uh, this fire extinguisher. You can see for the art gallery, they got that piece of art or uh, kind of a flyer board. Um, there's a piece of art here. Um, there's several pieces of art inside. So you have this little abstract painting. Uh, there's this like clear cube thing. Um, it actually mentions that this piece of art was designed by uh, the same person as uh, in a previous set. Um, there's like a bus that sits in this hole here. A little desk inside. Another piece of art on that one. Whew. This is actually a, a wrench piece. Talking about parts usage. Uh, and they actually use it as a railing. Although it doesn't want to stay all that well. Oh no! Okay, I'll fix that when I, when I finish this. Okay, so the inside of the actual um, lobby of the hotel, um, you can see it has a plant. There's a desk here for the receptionist. 
one of the neat things are, are the keys. There's actually keys here hanging on the wall uh, for the individual rooms. A piece of art on the back. Again, you can see the stairs coming up, uh, going to the second floor. There's a clock on that wall. You can see a couch here on this wall. I kind of feel like they could have used this space here under the stairs for something, um, but they didn't. So uh, you can see the nice little H there on the entryway. Nice little gold door handle. How did this come off? That was really odd. For anybody who wonders, I don't actually use glue or any type of adhesive when I build my sets. Just in case I need to take them apart because I am in the military so I have to travel a lot. And I do move every couple of years. Uh, so I don't have any type of adhesive or anything holding the sets together. Here, just fix this while I'm here. All right, so that's the set. And uh, we get this thing back together and I'll give you my thoughts on it. All right, so my thoughts on this build. Uh, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It's actually a challenging build. They put in a lot of little nuggets of information in the instruction booklet, which is always really nice, including like the little biographies of the different minifigs. Uh, this set only came out on January 1st, so definitely should be able to find it uh, still in stores at this point. So uh, if you're into Lego in general, or if you're really into the modular sets, highly, highly recommend it. Go pick it up. And if you guys don't notice, uh, I'm making a couple of changes to my channel, try to make it a little easier for you to actually see what's going on, uh, added some lighting, changing up some angles. Uh, so uh, be looking forward to some hopefully much better quality uh, videos coming soon. Um, if you have any suggestions beyond what I change, please let me know in the comments uh, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, otherwise, please make sure you share, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notifications when new videos come out, so on and so forth. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.